initially the manual in on the rooms now because I have to be admitted. Uh, it's my turn. And then my families are my three children and husband are it's fully recovered now. Nobody can speak English here. Yeah, nobody. We will have our extra, I guess. Before we will get inside our room. Arrive in my room. Hi guys, um, this is my day one of my quarantine because I am positive with Delta variant. The 911 ambulance brought me here earlier. I am in the KB Bank building here in Korea because the hospitals are full, no space. This is a kind of new facilities. The government is using this for the recovering patients. I don't have any symptoms for like runny nose, coughing, or maybe fever. I don't have those kind of symptoms, but I need to follow the procedure here. I will observe for 14 days if I, I will feel any maybe body pain or fever or something. Hopefully not. I am fully vaccinated with Pfizer when I was in the Philippines. Actually, when I arrived here, I was negative with the test twice negative then my children day one here when they arrive they are positive so i watched them in the hospital for 10 days i made separate vlog for their journey during the time they were in the hospital not this facility they're really in the hospital because they need to be monitored by the nurses and doctors here we as I hear, they have also nurses and doctors, even they have laboratories. When we get in, they took our x-rays. Also, the other patients are arriving earlier. And I saw some people are coughing, chill, they're, they're like having fever. And I, I'm watching them like mm, they need to be hospitalized, but I guess they are still walking and they're not really critically ill like other patients. That's why they are here. And then anyway, there's doctors and nurses here. I will show you the. This is my day one. So, so since I'm bored here, so I will, I will do a kind of quick room tour of the facility they provided me here in Korea. This is KB Bank Building. So this is my view, actually it's the race, but I cannot, go, I cannot go there, I cannot go out, oh there's <laughs> spider, hey spider, nakalock siya, it was locked because they didn't want maybe somebody go there and maybe jump out there, <laughs> they worried that some patients maybe got depressed, this is the, they have table, yeah. 
chair. I will be working here for 14 days quarantine. Nothing to do, so I may be do the exercise or working. Oh, very cute this one. They have TV. They provided me this one, the hand sanitizer. Tissue. And what's this? Okay, one shot. Disinfectant. Water. And then sanitizing wipes. Ball pen. Multi shoot, similar to And then this one, the thermometer. To check temperature, particularly around 5, uh, no, 9 a.m. and then 5 p.m. in the afternoon. This one for the blood pressure and then oximeter to check the oxygen level in the blood. This is actually my vaccine card from the Philippines. As you can see, I'm fully vaccinated with Pfizer. This one, I cannot understand anything there. Um, this is the bed. Just feel like um, hotel facility. This is the main door. Their CR. So I feel like I'm in the hotel, but alone and so boring here. And here, shampoo and conditioner. Already here. This is their shower room. I don't know what's the meaning of this one. <laughs> I cannot understand. But anyway, very clean. Very clean and a nice view, but I cannot go out there. This is the dinner. They send dinner already. Ah, actually, this time it's around 6.53 in Korea. 6.53. Things now. Ah, uh, meron sila dito. Ning jangko. Yung refrigerator nila. Yan. Ito yung guys. Talagay ko dito yung I'll put there the milk. <laughs> Pinabaunan ako ng asawa ko ng gata. <laughs> My husband. Pack this one inside my luggage. Milk. And cereal. Cute. I'm gonna put a heater. <laughs> I cannot survive without coffee. <laughs> Down coffee. Okay, I just provide some water. Coffee in my cup. Here, there's chocolate here. Here. So I can drink my coffee. Well, a lot of coffee. I'm done with my dinner and then I lie down because 
I feel a little bit sick. I feel like a little bit dizzy. I'm not sure if this is because of the virus or maybe just car sick. Earlier in the ambulance, I feel like to vomit and then dizzy because it's medicine smell inside and then the speed is very fast. They said um, most of the patients, they feel like body pain, having body pain or some fever, coughing, dry cough or runny nose. Luckily, I don't have those symptoms yet and hopefully I will not experience those. And I will check my temperature because I have headache now. Maybe I have fever. Uh, 35.8 so I guess not because of the virus I think because of the headache caused by the car sick and I think I have to sleep now and then tomorrow I will check if how I will feel hopefully same like feeling nothing I mean I hope I don't experience those symptoms like short of breath, coughing, or fever because I wanna be released here earlier. Good night. Good night, everyone. Good night. Take care.